Larry Arisborn was brought to Eddyville State Penitentiary from Eastern Kentucky and I believe he was 17 or 18 at the time that he was brought. I was called over to death row to talk with him because he kept saying, I I'm innocent. I didn't do this. I don't know why I'm here. And he threw his arms around me and said, I got the call and that I have a retrial. The verdict, thank God, came that he was innocent. They had enough evidence and they proved it. You know, essentially, people who end up on Kentucky's death row are the poorest of the poor, the most disenfranchised among us, um, and they're products really of a society that has neglected them. I got involved with the death penalty actually through the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union. Uh, we were asked uh, back in 1997 if we, uh, our pro bono lawyers, would participate in the Harold McQueen case. But ultimately we lost and Harold McQueen was executed. The night of his execution, a group of us gathered uh, down at Jefferson Square across from the courthouse uh, and just had a, a wake or a morning session or uh, holding candles and one thing or another. And up to that point, I had really I knew I was against killing people, but I never really thought much about the death penalty. And a as I stood there with a candle and looked around at these faces, it, it just came over me overwhelmingly how awful it was what the state was doing and that I was absolutely powerless to do anything about it. Uh, they were killing as far as I was concerned in my name and all of our names. And, and it, 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 I became an abolitionist at that point and have been involved in it ever since. I think the main reason for the coalition is so that we can reach as many people as possible about the issue and to uh, educate people on the reasons why we need to abolish the death penalty in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. It's, it's exciting to think about what coalition has brought to Kentucky in the past, over the past 10 years. We do not execute mentally retarded individuals anymore. We do not execute juveniles anymore. Uh, we have racial profiling laws. We have done some really amazing things in the state legislature because of the coalition and because of uh, the diversity of the voices that the coalition has brought together. Uh, and it's our position uh, that it is not only time but way past time uh, that we recognize that killing for a killing uh, makes no sense, e either socially or morally. Uh, it, it accomplishes nothing.